Welcome back guys, so I was finally able to subscribe to Luke FC's Patreon page in order to get access to their paid FSR frame generation mod. All I had to do was use Patreon's Android application. Previously I was using Patreon's website and for some reason my payment kept getting declined. So if you are facing the same problem, I would recommend using Patreon's Android application. The monthly subscription costs around $6.01, roughly 613 Indian national rupees. You can cancel the subscription anytime. After subscribing to Luke's Patreon, you need to link your Discord account to it in order to get access to the mods. At the moment, this mod is in early access phase. Yeah, it's a bit buggy. Luke's original plan is to release the mod for absolutely free once it's ready, more stable. I'll quickly show you how to link Discord to Patreon. And just click on settings here. Under settings, click on more. Then click on connected apps. Click on discord here and sign into your discord account. I have already done that. You can disconnect your discord account from here as well or leave any discord server that you have joined. To access the discord server, just click on open server here. Just click on FSR2, FSR3 installation channel to access the regular installation instructions. Luke calls the mod as FSR2, FSR3. It enables frame generation support in games by replacing FSR2 with FSR3. The best part is this mod works on both NVIDIA and AMD based GPUs. Not sure about the mod's compatibility with Intel based GPUs, the ARC ones. When it comes to NVIDIA, even GTX series GPUs are supported. On Ally, I tested the mod with Last of Us and Dead Space Remake. It has an AMD based iGPU and yes, the mod worked. In this video, I'll be showing you how to get the mod working with Red Dead Redemption Part 2, Last of Us and Dead Space. All of these games do not support DLSS frame generation. There is another FSR frame generation mod. It is developed by Nukem9. I have already covered it on the channel. Nukem9's mod works only on RTX based GPUs. It basically replaces DLSS frame generation with FSR frame generation. Only problem is not many games support DLSS frame generation. If you have an RTX based GPU, you can try it out for absolutely free. Back to Luke FC's mod. Some prerequisites. It's recommended to disable overlays like RTSS and Epic Games. They can cause crashes. I faced this issue in Red Dead Redemption 2, needed to disable after burner overlay in order to get the mod working. Mods installation instructions will slightly vary from game to game depending on the version of FSR that they are using. You can get to know about this information from PC Gaming Wiki website or simply check in game compatibility list channel or just ask on this discord server. For example, I just searched for Last of Us Part 1 on PC Gaming Wiki's website. Under video section, it is mentioned that this game supports FSR 2.2 and DLSS 3.1 upscalers. Once you know which version of FSR 2 the game uses, mod files can be downloaded from this website. Then you just need to place the mod files in the directory where the game's exe file is present. For Unreal Engine games, look for the directory that has the game's exe file ending with dash shipping.exe. After launching the game, if everything worked correctly, a new console window should pop up with a few log messages. If something did not work properly, there will be an error message in the logs. The last step involves enabling FSR2 or DLSS from the in-game settings in order to activate frame generation. You don't even need to enable hardware accelerated GPU scheduling setting for this mod, but I would still recommend using it. These are the instructions for Linux. I'll be explaining them when I cover the mod on my Steam Deck that runs on Linux based SteamOS. Deck has an RDNA 2 based GPU from AMD, we may be required to enable fake nvidia gpu setting we'll see instructions have been provided for disabling the epic games overlay how to enable fake gpu how to enable dlss frame generation in nexus game spider-man miles morales ratchet and clank upgrade from an earlier version last but not least how to uninstall the mod first i'll show you how to get the mod working with last of us remake you will find game specific installation instructions in game compatibility list channel this last of us it uses FSR version 2.1. Need to enable FSR from the in-game setting in order to activate frame generation. It does not support DLSS frame generation. It does not require fake NVIDIA GPU setting. Just click on this link to download the mod files. Log in using your Patreon account. Allow access. If you are accessing this page for the first time, it can take about 10 minutes to recognize your Patreon membership and give you access to Luke FZ's mod. For obvious reasons, I cannot share the mod files with you, so just click on the drop down icon here. Latest version of the mod will show up at the time of making this video, it's version 0.9. Again click on the drop down icon. Select your game. Last of Us is not in this list, so I'll just select its FSR version, it's 2.2, generic FSR 2.2. First you need to download the common mod files, then you need to download the 
mod files corresponding to the version of FSR. So just click on the purple bar to download common mod files. Then click on the green bar to download the mod files corresponding to specific version of FSR. These are the archive files that we just downloaded. Common mod files will work with other games as well. You don't need to download the archive file again and again for a different game. Extract their contents. Copy all of the extracted files. Open the game's install directory. I own the Steam version of Last of Us. Select the game from your library. Right click. Go to manage. Click on browse local files. This directory will pop up. Just paste the files here. There's the game's exe file. We are ready to run the game. For this game, you can enable afterburner overlay. I'll be using it to show you the performance metrics. I'll just start the game. A new window will pop up with the logs. There you go. First, I'll run the game without frame generation. Resolution set to full HD. I'm using the high preset. Scroll down. So many settings are available. Most of the effects are enabled. This game is very demanding on the GPU. Display settings, name of my GPU, RTX 2070 Super. In-game vSync disabled. I have enabled vSync from NVIDIA control panel. Scaling mode, default, not using either FSR2 or DLSS. Start the game. Downtown outskirts, it's a very demanding area here, FPS is around 60. Almost hitting the GPU bottleneck, perfect scenario for enabling frame generation. Game HUD element, it's not flickering. Now I'll enable FSR2 in order to activate frame generation. I've set it to quality. FPS increased up to 130, this is amazing. I can observe the smoothness. Not observing any ghosting around the character models. Latency is not an issue, the controls are responsive. Unfortunately, the game's hard element is flickering. Even the crosshair is flickering. So this issue is present. What's this? A medallion. I'm out of ammo. So Luke's mod definitely works, but the hard elements flicker. I hope this issue gets fixed with the future versions of the mod. Subtitles are flickering. I'll switch on the flashlight. God damn it. Clicker. Clicker. Jeez. What's wrong with his face? That's what years of infection. Really impressed by the performance gains. FPS almost always stays above hundred. They see using sound. Like that? Like if you hear one click, you gotta hide. I'll just switch to DLSS. Quality preset. Frame generation is still working. Unfortunately, the game's HUD element is still flickering as well. Can't do much about it. Now I'll be testing the next game. Now I'll be showing you the process for Dead Space Remake. It uses FSR version 2.1. Need to enable FSR from in-game settings to activate frame generation. Does not require the fake NVIDIA GPU setting to be enabled. Again, go to this website. Select your game from the list. Dead Space is not mentioned here, so I'll just select Generic FSR 2.1. Don't need to download the common mod files again. I'll use the same files that I used with Last of Us. Just need to download the mod files corresponding to FSR 2.1. Click on the green bar. Extract the archive files. Copy all of them. Paste them in the game's install directory. I'll be using the Steam version of Dead Space. Just select the game from your library. Right click on it. Go to manage and then click on browse local files. This directory will open up. Paste the files here. If you have an AMD based GPU, you are ready to run the game. For an RTX GPU owner, just open optional underscore nvngx folder. Execute enable signature override.registry file. Copy the DLL file here. 
paste it in the games install directory. Now we are ready to run the game. Display settings, first I'll run the game without frame generation. anti aliasing set to TAA using the ultra preset ambient occlusion set to RTAO ray tracing enabled video settings full HD resolution in game basing disabled there's Isaac oh my god what's going on here necromorphs are chasing me and I'm casually walking FPS is around 60 I'll just enable FSR 2 to activate frame generation I've set it to quality you can also enable DLSS to activate frame generation but I observed that DLSS produce slightly more artifacts than FSR2 in this game yeah FPS increased up to 130 very impressive oh my god this necromorph is blocking my way this game suffers from traversal status yeah just like that not good to see same generation working in this game no flickering around the subtitles trying to activate the lip Controls are responsive. Now I'll switch to DLSS. You can see the subtitles are flickering. Frame generation is still working. I'll just play the game for a few seconds. Now I'll try the next game. Last but not least, Red Dead Redemption Part 2. Installation process for it is very simple. Just click on the select your game list and select Red Dead Redemption 2. We have already downloaded the common mod files, so just click on the green bar here. Download FSR to FSR 3 for Red Dead Redemption 2. Extract the contents of the archive files. Select all of them. Copy. Open the game's install directory. I own the Rockstar Social Club version of the game. This is the game's install directory. Paste the files here. There is the game's exe file. Make sure no overlay is running in the background. I'll be using Windows toolbar to show you the performance metrics. Just press the Windows plus G keyboard keys together. Start the game. In this game, I observed that FSR2 produced less artifacts than TLSS, just like the previous game. In game settings, resolution set to full HD, Nvidia Reflex low latency enabled, in game wasting disabled. Most of the settings are set to ultra. First, I'll run the game without frame generation. I have disabled both DLSS and FSR 2.0. You need to make sure game's graphics API is set to DirectX 12 for the mod to work. By default, it is set to Vulkan, so just change it. Yeah, there's Arthur. Here, FPS is around 80. GPUs is maxed out. I'll just enable frame generation. Set FSR 2 to quality. 
apply the change and you can see fps increased up to 144 maxing out my display refresh rate looking around not observing any ghosting games hard elements are flickering you can see the mini map i'll just sprint around One twenty to one forty four FPS, not bad. Really impressed by the performance increase. Not observing any latency issues. I hope flickering in this game gets fixed with the future updates. I'll just quickly switch to DLSS. Easy. Disable FSR. Enable DLSS. Using the quality preset. Again, frame generation is working with DLSS, but I can observe some ghosting around Arthur's character model whenever I move my camera. Very easily noticeable. So for this game, it's recommended to use FSR2 instead of DLSS in order to activate the mod. Even the user interface is flickering. So that's it with my coverage, guys. I'll end the video here. I hope you found it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.